In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to program the linkage widget using the Protomax layout software for the Protomax water jet. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. I'm going to start off with a new file in Protomax layout. We're going to be importing a DXF that was created in Rhino and also could be created in another program. I'm going to go File import from other CAD. We need to browse and find our DXF file. All of these default import options are good. So we just need to click OK after verifying that that is our part that we want. We can clean it See if there's any errors, any overlaps or gaps. Looks good. And then we need to auto path it. And that will add our origin in the bottom left hand corner as a default. And then we have a traverse all the way over to here. And we have our lead in where it's going to pierce and then work its way into the geometry of our part. And then cut. And then traverse pierce, lead in again, go around, and then this is where it's going to end. Since this is a small part, it does require a tab to keep it from dropping into the water jet tank. To do that, right click on the lead in button and click create tab. And down here on the tab tools, left click on options. And this is the basic minimum size requirements for a tab on a Protomax water jet. If a tab is too large, it's going to be difficult to remove. If a tab is too small, it's probably going to kind of, quote, melt away with the water jet and disappear and get cut. So it needs to be an appropriate size, and this is basically the absolute minimum. The part side gap, which is A, is going to be 0 0.05 inches. That's the tab width. The tip side gap C, same thing, 0 0.05. We're just going to keep these the same, keep it simple. I don't really know exactly if it's supposed to be better if it's angled, but we'll just keep it flat. This needs to be unchecked. The lead in and out length is going to be 0.05. It's going to be forced to length specified total tab length 0.1 and then all these should be good if you can click on the create tab if you can't click on the create tab go back and make sure you have this box unchecked we can now position our tab we do not need a tab on the inside hole both the small one and the large one because those are actually small enough to drop down in between the slats and not cause a potential collision if they get tilted by not dropping all the way through and as far as the tab placement on the outside, it's going to be engineer or operator preference. Typically, you want it somewhere where it's easy to remove and also easy to deburr. You can put the tab over here, and that's going to make it easy to pry up this section and snap it off. But it's also going to be slightly more challenging to deburr this and making sure we're not messing with the radius. So we're going to go ahead and put the tab right here on this flat section before it transitions to the curve. So we now have our tab where the water jet will go all the way around, lead out, stop cutting, traverse over, start cutting again, therefore still connecting our part to the material. If we hit this render button, we can kind of see that this is material, this is not material, and we can see we're still connected. Just left click anywhere in the screen to get out of that render option. Okay, we now need to post our file to create the toolpaths. Left click on this bottom origin to create a start point. And that's going to put our toolpath on the correct side of our geometry. So we can see our toolpath is going to be right here, leading right up against our part. 
for all our features. The standard 0 0.015 tool offset is good enough and that can be changed on the machine. And then you can also click check for problems and it will check and see if there's any possible collisions, possible offsets to the wrong side or inside radi radii smaller than the offset. So we are good and then we'll hit save and it is then saved on a flash drive. What you then need to do is go into the Protomax Make software and this is the software that is actually being used to control the Protomax. So you can go File, Open, or Change Path. Going to Browse to my Windows Desktop. Find my Linkage Widget folder. And then I have my WaterJet file. And then my material is going to be 6061 aluminum. And the thickness is going to be determined at the WaterJet. But we're going to use eighth of an inch. Tool offset, don't really need to worry about this for right now. That has to do with tolerances. This is a zero tolerance part just for training on how to operate the laser, but this would be adjusted to offset or make these hole diameters bigger or smaller to compensate for the wear on the water jet nozzle width. Click OK. It's going to load. And once again, we see our tool pass on the correct side in our geometry, and we have some part statistics over here. It's going to be less than two minutes to cut and use less than one pound of garnet. I'm going to right click on this and go print statistics and go ahead and print this to our classroom or office printer. And that will be used as our setup sheet when operating the water jet. That concludes how to take a DXF file, import it into Protomax layout, toolpath it, and then verify your toolpath. Thank you.